Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safty webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create mail enabled security group in Exchange 2019. In the last two videos, we have seen the steps to create distribution group and dynamic distribution group in Exchange 2019. We can use mail enabled security groups to distribute messages as well as to grant access permission to resources in exchange and active directory we can create modify and remove mail enabled security groups in the exchange admin center or in the exchange management shell in this demo we will use exchange admin center graphical user interface to create a new mail enabled security group to do so on exchange 2019 mailbox server we need to open internet explorer and type https colon double slash localhost slash ecp to access exchange admin center click on more information click on go on to the web page sign in as an administrator with the password in the exchange admin center web interface we need to click on recipients and then after we need to click on groups tab If you have any existing groups created on your exchange those will be listed here. To create a new security group we need to click on this plus sign and from the drop down list we need to select a security group. Let me maximize it. Let's specify a display name and alias for this security group. Then after I'm going to click on browse button to select the OU to store this group. as expand surat bio and i'm going to select the ou it support click on okay by default the person who is creating the group is going to be the owner of it and that's why administrator is listed as the owner for the security group remember owner can manage the settings related to group membership we can add one or more owners by clicking on this plus sign and suppose if you want to remove owner for that security group that time you simply need to select that user and then after you need to click on this minus icon to add members to that security group we need to click on this plus sign and from the list select the user mailbox which you want to add as a member of that security group in my case i'm going to select the user manish rena and sagar patel click on add and click on okay now as you can verify that both users are listed as a member of that security group when this check box means when add group owners as a member check box is selected we don't need to manually include group owners in the list of members if we don't want the group owners to be a member of that security group we simply need to clear this check box and that i'm going to do so now only these two users are going to be the member of our security group it support now one more thing is there here we have options for owner approval is required but for mail enabled security groups user request to join the group aren't sent to this group owner regardless of the state of this check box means you have selected or not selected in case of mail enabled security group a group owner needs to manually add and remove group members from the list let's uh, click on save to create a new mail enabled security group we can verify that security group name it support is created successfully from the exchange admin center web interface let's open active directory users and computers to verify the security group in that console as well let's go to saw manager click on tools and select active directory users and computers let's click on it support ou and here we can see a group is there which is a security group and group scope is universal let's double click on it click on members tab and here we can verify that both users manish rena and sagar patel are member of this security group let's click on okay Now we also want to verify that we can use this security group to assign permissions on AD resources as well. And for that, 
I'm going on my domain controller. See, you can create a share folder on Exchange as well, but that I'm not going to do. And that's why I'm creating a share folder on our domain controller. Let's double click on E drive. I'm going to create a new folder here. Let's give name support tools. And I'm going to share this folder. Let's go for the properties. Click on sharing. Click on advanced sharing. And let's select the checkbox share this folder. Click on permission, everyone. I'm going to give change permission. Okay. And now let's click on security tab to specify NTFS permission as well. First of all, I'm going to disable inheritance and let's remove both a user's entry because I want to share this folder only with that a security group. Click on apply. Okay. Let's click on edit and let's add. Click on advance, find now and let's select the security group which we have created earlier with the name IT support. Okay, let's select the group. Fine, click on okay. Let's give them a full control, apply, okay. And here we can verify IT support group and click on close. Uh, after creating shared folder and assigning a permission, we can confirm that mail enabled security group is used to distribute messages as well as to grant access permission to resources in Active Directory as well. That's all for this video. Thank you all for watching this video on how to create mail enabled security group in Exchange 2019.